Shalom, 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 I give all praises to me, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Abba, Dash, Yahweh is the most I got, Yahweh, Shai, to the world, and the cause of Jesus the Christ. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders, so I can, <sighs> and great millstone who rule the wealth of the Spirit, teaching this word and believing this word to the best of their ability. Well, one of the most I continue to increase them in their knowledge. And put on a spirit to endure. Mighty Shalom to the four legs, God of four corners of the earth, in and out of congregations, teaching his word and believing his word to the best of their ability. Lord will them, the most high increase them in the knowledge and understanding. Shalom to the wise and the civil sisters. Lord will they continue to be believers in his word. And you continue to pursue to be loving and sound and wise. And Lord will the most have mercy on my brother and sisters in faith. This video is just, I'm just going into Philippians chapter 3, verse 13 and 14. You know, um, when you get in this truth, no matter how long you've been in it, it's always pressed towards the mark. Right? And always putting what you left behind, let it stay behind you. Right, because when we let old things come back, things that had us falling back into unrighteousness, you want to constantly put that shit right back behind you, because when they get in front of you, it becomes a distraction. It becomes it it, it becomes a burden. Right. So this is Philippians chapter three, verse thirteen to fourteen. The left hand side is the KJV, the right hand side is the NLT. It says, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended that this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Right? Now, you're not forgetting what you can't remember it. You're, you're, you're forgetting uh, uh, the thought of doing it. Like, I want to go do it. Get up. Oh, I want to roll up a blunt. Uh, get up. You know what? I want to go talk to all these niggas. Right? Get up. You know what? I want to be in the industry and I'll do anything to get in the industry. Right? The things that we did to achieve uh, 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 the goals or the accomplishments that we wanted to do. Right? And the whole point is to uh, uh, to, look for, to look forward, not backwards. Backward, we do no more. Right, verse 14. I press towards the, the mark for the prize of the high calling of the most high in Hamashiach and Hoshai. And what is that high calling? To serve the high Bashiach and Hoshai and do his will. The Lord said, if we do his will, we are considered basically family. We are brothers, mothers, and sisters to Yahweh. For we are friends. Right? Just to get a. Uh, a cross reference, right? While we press it towards the mark, right? This is Second Corinthians chapter five, verse one. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of the Most High. And a house not made with hands, eternal in the heaven, right? That's that's what we're pressing towards that mark to get that that heavenly kingdom, right? Because this kingdom that you know that we're so caught in is built by hands, the sweat and tears of the black Latinas and natives, and the other nations is ruling it, right? That this kingdom has no benefits for Jake. Right? That's why you want to press towards the mark. Press towards the mark of getting your crown. Press uh, towards uh, uh, press towards the mark of getting the kingdom. Walking through your door. Right? That, that, that uh, pressing towards the mark that your kids can go outside and play. Right? You press towards that mark where we ain't got to teach one another again. Right?
Oh, uh, 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 no man having put his hands to the plow or looking back is fit for the kingdom of the Most High. Right? So, um, so anyone, anyone that puts their hand in the work of Yahweh Bashim Shai and look back, what we just read in uh, Philippians chapter uh, 3, verse 13, right? Because we, we're trying to forget the things of old. But when you put your hands to the power and you looking back, you're not fit for the kingdom. You might as well die like like um like Lot's wife. Right? Right? Just like this. So I want it. Luke chapter 17, verse 31. It says, In that day he which shall be upon the housetop. And his stuff in the house, let him not come down to take it away. And he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. Remembers Lot, Lot's wife, right? You're pressing towards the mark to get the hell out. Just like how Lot, uh, uh, how Yahweh Shemarshai got Lot out of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, right? Um, is this the one that I wanted? Cross reference is coming quick. Uh, I think it's a little. Uh, so I'm going to start at verse 12. It says, And the men said unto Lot, So like it is Genesis 19, uh, verse 12. It says, And the men said unto Lot, Has thou here any besides son in law? And thy sons and thy daughters, and whatsoever thou hast in the city, bring them out of this place. But we will destroy this place because the cry of them is waxing great before the face of Yahweh Shemoshai. And Yahweh Shemoshai have sent us to destroy it, right? And the Lord is going to send the angel to destroy this place, right? Revelation, the seventh chapter, where they're going to let go of that wind. And technically, the destruct, like, all oh, praises to the Most High that He's holding that wind back, right? That's why we should be pressing towards the mark, right? You gotta have it in your mind. The Lord can just tell them to let it go right now, right? Verse fourteen it says, "A lot went out and spake unto his son-in-law, which married his daughters, and said, Up, get you out of this place, for Yahweh Shemashah will destroy the city.' But he seems as one that mocked." unto his sons-in-law and when the morning arose then the angel hastened lot saying arise take thy wife and thy two daughters which are here lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city right and the the um the men of the lord we're to now i don't want to visit because i don't know if i am but if if i am of that number you know the whole elect it's like the angels preparing israel to, to spiritually get out of here, right? To get beamed up in the chariot. But you have to uh, uh, throw away the old man and press towards the mark in order to get the hell out of here, right? To put a pep in your step, you have to do the will of your high shot, right? Or that, that the spirit is going to be upon you to repent or call on the name of your high right? Verse 16, it says, and while he lingered, the men laid hold upon his hand and upon the hand of his wife and upon the hand of his daughters. Yahweh Shemar Shai, being merciful unto him, they brought him forth and set him without the city. Right? And us, uh, 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 when, we, when we teach this word, we put, we're putting a mark on whoever is listening. Right? But if you ain't taking heed to it, you're still marked. You're marked that you heard this word. But anyone that did listen, you got marked. So, so, so if you got marked, when that time comes, you're already going to be moving, uh, uh, already moving for the exit, right? But it's going to be Yahweh Bashim Yahushai that come and get the elect, right? Uh, I'm gonna just bring this out. Then I'm gonna go back to work um, before. 
they get butter. Um, where is the uh, uh, light stage should be shorter? I think it's a little further down. Yeah, here we go. This is uh, Matthew chapter 24, verse 31. And he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Right? And this is what, this, this is what you want to press towards the mark, to be saved, to get scarcely saved. If you're not pressing towards this mark, you are, a, excuse my language, you are a fucking background character, man. Right? Press towards the mark or fucking be consumed. Right? Lord willing, this is edifying and straight to the point. And with that, we'll say shallow on.